race at 9 o'clock. Good, turn those hips. Just like anything, consistency is the key. So you see how I planted that foot? I went to the right of it, planted it, boom, and I had that momentum. My heart explodes because I know firsthand the, um, the sisterhood and brotherhood of baseball and softball, and there are so many similarities. Yes, it's different, but there's way more similarities than there is differences. And so to be able to come out here and celebrate these young girls who aspire to have huge dreams and are playing the game that they love, whatever that is, whether it be softball or baseball, and that we can collaborate, we can work together, and we can celebrate one another. I look up to Jenny Finch because she works really hard, and she get, she got where she wanted to be. A young staffer in our office, Coeli Kapisti, came up with the idea because uh, February 6th is National Girls and Women in Sports Day. So what we did was we decided to um, do the play ball event with the clinic afterwards here in New Orleans and next weekend we're going to do it in Compton as well. So we've sandwiched uh, February 6th between the two events. My initial thoughts on a baseball and softball clinic really made me happy because I you can incorporate not only baseball but softball all together and it was just a really good experience today out on the field so it was different because I, I never really played baseball but I know like my brother would and like a whole bunch of other things like that but it was really fun and you got to learn like also the baseball aspect of it it was fun. I really liked the baseball pitching it was something new and it was really fun. When I was uh, you know coming up in life and had to switch to softball or you know had the decision to play women's baseball for USA there was always those, oh, you're not good enough. You're not, you know, like, there's no way. But I think those girls really need to know that anything is possible through hard work and determination and just persistency and resiliency through any haters, any doubt, anything anyone gives you, just know you can do it and never stop until you achieve it. I looked up to them because I'm like, okay, this is Olympian. Like, she, like, just like knowing that, like, even um, Amanda, I was like, wow, she's really, like, she's playing baseball knowing that she's also played softball. like. She made the top one of the top ten ESPN uh, plays, and I'm like, wow! Like one day I want to be up there. Like it just made me want to try even harder for what I believe in and what I think I want to be when I grow up. It's such a great opportunity for the girls to learn both sports. There's so many opportunities in the future for these girls, whether it is softball or if they want to continue their uh, passion for baseball. So it's just amazing for these girls who actually make that commitment and the dedication to come out here. Right now, you're looking at the future leaders of Major League Baseball as well as other sports and, and industries.